water. So, if you guys are new to my channel, during my mukbangs, I have a ton of topics in this notebook to talk about. It's things that you guys have recommended or have asked me or just like hot topics in general, whether it be about me, the world, whatever it is. I have been getting a lot of people talking about my portion sizes and how I eat snacks, which would be like this, with my meals. So I don't snack. Um, if I do, it's one snack at night. Snacking throughout the day triggers me and I don't really know why, but I prefer to have voluminous, if that's the right word, like large quantities of food that are healthy and low calorie. That's just what I prefer to keep me full because you guys, I'm a big girl. So it's like, I try to have my sides be low calorie and healthy, like apples and carrots, as you guys have seen. I'm going to try to like mix it up a little bit though. So you guys don't get bored. I was going to try a kiwi for the first time in this video, but I couldn't figure out how to cut the kiwi. I've never had a kiwi. I've never cut a kiwi. So I was trying and then I mushed it and it just didn't turn out right. So here we have, these are nut thins, like almond nut thins, which I love. They're very light, thin, very low calorie. And they're delicious. This is the sea salt kind where it's just lightly sea salted. Mm. Honestly, so good. We have some, just some jalapenos for a little spice moment. I love, I love hot things. But it'd be different if my portions were like three of these. These are, okay, let me explain what this is first. This is one bagel that is open faced. And then I put two of the Laughing Cow cheeses underneath. And these are just garden veggie burgers with some baby arugula. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So I prefer the bottom piece of a bagel. So I'm going to start with the top piece first. I feel like this is going to be messy, but who knows? Mm hmm Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Camera, I make sure it's within my calories for that meal. A meal, <laughs> meal, I love that for me. Um, and it's like, I honestly recommend that to anyone. Um, try to eat voluminous food, like, Losing weight doesn't have to be about tiny, small portions. If you can fill up on healthy things, then do it, honestly. Um, like, this meal I would have by myself. I explained yesterday I eat all my meals by myself. Um, there's nothing different that I did in this situation that I would have done off a of camera. So eating on camera not only makes me eat a lot slower and I'm more mindful of my food and I appreciate it more instead of just devouring it. And you guys also give me someone to talk to while I eat.
And if my eating upsets you, offends you, triggers you, I ask politely to maybe not watch, like, wait for me to upload a vlog or another video that entices you because, like, I don't want to offend anyone. That's not my intention, ever. I've been obsessed with carrots. They add like a crunch that I need. Plus I just love how they taste. So I'm gonna be honest, like I love watching mukbangs, love So good. <laughs> I love the crunch and the flavor with this. It reminds me of like when I used to make sandwiches and like I had to put chips in the middle of the sandwich for like a crunch. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? I feel like they do. Um, so when a mukbanger that I love uploads I feel like I say mukbang wrong, but it's like such a habit because I've been saying that from like the jump. I'm pretty sure it's mukbang. But when I watch mukbangers, um, or when they upload like people that I love, depending on the title and what they're eating, I, I can't always watch it. Um, it sucks. Like, the biggest one for me, which makes me really sad, is if it's Chinese food. <laughs> I can't watch Chinese food mukbangs. Mukbang, mukbang. I don't even know what it is anymore. And it just, that's just how it is, unfortunately. There's some other types too that are hard to watch for me, so I just don't. Or I just try to like skim it. Um, hmm. Oh no. Anything to do with like ramen noodle, like the spicy ramen or, I can't watch those either because they trigger me. They make me want to like go to the store and buy them, you know?
the smell is dry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say right here, right now. As an outside perspective, I understand your guys' frustration because to you, a weight loss channel to do mukbangs because, I mean, everyone's different, but if you're eating healthy, you're eating within your calories, you're eating what you would eat, something about it is really satisfying because you get to enjoy your food for longer. Um, I just eat really fast in general. So this meal could be gone in like five minutes flat, especially because I am eating by myself. I feel like I'm going in circles. I don't, I don't know. I just, like, I don't want to upset people, but I also want to be able to film what I want to film and not worry so much about what other people think. And I do want to spend a video talking about like you know weight loss with mood bongs and stuff like that like I've done it before um I think it was during my shrimp mood bong but I was very I don't know something about that video like rubs me wrong it was not good the things I said in it like and the way that I thought then is very different than like how I feel and think now. I so I feel weird if I like <laughs> stared at you guys while I was eating and I was just like <laughs> weird. Um but yeah, I want to dive more into like how I feel now with losing weight, mukbangs. I just have a few thoughts about it. Uh I got my new slipper wet. Y'all, I have the cutest new slippers. I'm actually living for them. I need to show you guys one of these days coming up, but I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> that was funny. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> oh, someone asked me, why does she have to eat everything on her plate? Well, that's easy. That's an easy question. I'm hungry. <laughs> I want to finish my food. And, you know, I calculated all my calories on it, so...
if I was like genuinely full, obviously I wouldn't eat it. Last bite, big bite. Y'all, I am so sad about my slipper. <sighs> I know it can dry, but. I actually got it at Kroger. Um, love that for me. Who would have thunk it that I would go to Kroger and find like the cutest slipper in the world? House shoe. Well, I guess you can call it a house shoe. Um, I even wore it to the store once. <gasps> Think of that idea. Well, what do you guys want to do? Tell then. So, the plan was we were going to wake up, go swim, but, um, the plan has changed. All of my fresh made couch. My cats are fresh. <laughs> you know what I was about to say? Oh my god. Um wait, so what's the plan? Like say it from the get up? Um, she's wanting to I guess like play games in the meat. <laughs> Ew, that looks so freaking gross. <laughs> so, so nasty. Oh, hello? Um, she's wanting to, like, play games in the meantime, I guess, while we're waiting for her to do that with them. Um, just play games in the meantime, do whatever. And then, I guess, when she leaves to go get them, and then pick them up after she gets done doing that running around, we'll drive to the summer set, meet her up there, get in the car, and we'll go swimming. Okay. I'll probably just go with her, though, to pick up, you know. Mm -hmm. So, we were supposed to wake up, go swimming, but Becky got a call. Um, I can't really go into detail because that's people's personal life, but someone in her family, they think that she like broke her ankle, so. Now we're gonna just play some board games. Until Becky, Becky has to pick up her family member from the hospital. Why did that look gross coming out of my mouth? It was just brown that was sitting on your face. It was freaking nasty. <laughs> Do you have brown stuff sitting on your face every day? Yeah, a beard. Oh my god. What made you grow a beard? I never asked you that. I get so lazy sometimes with shaving. Oh. Um. Laziness. Interesting. Yeah, I think you look better with a beard. Yeah, I'll have people tell me that. No, I've had people. Now, can you shave it? And then I'm like, I get conflicted because people are like, they don't like it when they do. I'm like, like, who told you to shave it? Like, Liz and Nicole and stuff like that. Hmm. Two servings of jasmine rice is 10 points. Half of this was four. But when you do two servings, it comes out to seven because they always round up around down. What was that? All right, have fun. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> they went to go get um, some like floaty type stuff or just like fun stuff to play in the um, water. So. I mean, it's really good. It hits the spot. I'm just gonna pour. I've been really wanting just like Indian type stuff. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I just poured this in here like that, see. I don't know how to make Indian food, obviously. And I know that even if I followed a recipe, I'm scared that I'd butcher it because Indian food is amazing. So I just bought something at the store at Kroger's um 
because I've been craving it so bad and we don't have Indian restaurants around here or anything. Um, I know that I'm using the wrong rice because usually it's like a um, bas bas basamati. I cannot say that rice. Usually it's basamati. <laughs> so. A big question that I get, because I've been swimming a lot lately, enjoying the hell out of it, it's been, it's just been so fun for me, um, is, why do you wear pants in the water? On Twitter, I get this question constantly. And it's obvious why I wear pants in the water, ain't it? I'm not confident. Um, I kind of wear a confident mask. This is sparkling iced kiwi strawberry, by the way. Super good. Um, I wear like a confident mask, if that makes sense. Kind of where I seem like I'm confident sometimes because, again, a lot of questions, especially on my fitness pal. How do you get so confident? I'm not. I think it's just like, I am who I am and there's no hiding it. I hate my legs. I am ashamed of them. I despise them. They disgust me. Um, if they disgust me and I'm used to them, then they're gonna disgust other people. I know a lot of people say, who cares what people think? It's way easier said than done. Um, it's, it's, I don't know. There's no dress code when you're having fun in the lake. Um, I have just as much fun wearing pants and plus it makes me feel a little bit better because I kind of get creeped out sometimes like what's in the water, you know, and if something was to nibble on someone's leg, I feel like they wouldn't choose mine because I have pants on. So there's pluses. <clears throat> so I hope that answers anybody's question of why do I wear pants on the water? I used to have a bathing suit when I was at my um, lowest of 331. Even when I was around 360, 370. I had a two-piece, but no, the two-piece didn't show my stomach. It, um, they met in the middle. The bottom was a black skirt type of bikini two-piece, and the top was black and white. It was really cute, but I threw that away. I knew I wouldn't wear it <laughs> at this weight. So I was like, screw that. Sorry if the screen. I initially was like, okay, I'm gonna film just a little bit, a little clip for my vlog, but hey, 
I think I'm just gonna do this as a separate video. Um, I don't really know how long it is, but that don't really matter. <sighs> pretty full, pretty full. I feel like mukbangs you should like eat like big quantities because it's like interesting to see how much someone can eat, but I'm a Weight Watchers and those are my, you know, that's some points or, or so. Um, any hoozle. I'm excited to swim. Um, it was raining a little bit earlier, but I'm okay with that. Like I said before in a vlog, I don't mind swimming in rain, but if it starts lightning, I'm freaking out. I'm getting out. I'm like, why? Excuse me. Um, are mukbangs even a thing anymore? Like, do people still do these? I used to watch mukbangs, like, especially when I lived by myself. I'd watch mukbangs constantly. I'd have them just, like, running in the background because I didn't like being, like... I didn't really... I mean, living alone was okay. Like, you had so much freedom, but I didn't like the quiet. Like, it freaked me out. So, I'd always have, like, mukbangs playing in the background. Um, Nikocado Avocado was a favorite. Uh, Peter Mon, he didn't really do mukbangs, but I'd always have his videos play in the background because his videos are long. He's entertaining. I don't know. I feel like white noise is super 